All right. I've taken this Honda CRF to around 10 different countries here in Europe over the last year. And as many of you probably already know, I've done it with the van that I lived in for five months last year. I went all over Eastern Europe, all the way to Greece and up to Bulgaria, Romania. And this little guy was with me in the van. And I already showed you the van video. I can link it down below if you want to check it out. But now that I have this new van, I actually have an even better motorcycle mounting system bought and installed in this van. And this is not a sponsored video. I just love the product and I want to showcase it to you guys. So this is the solution I'm using at the moment. Before I demonstrate putting in the bike, I will show you how the system actually works and how it's installed in the van. So basically, first thing, these little screws here will keep it in place. So this is actually the part that is going to be keeping your bike in place. And it has this very nice ratchety system that uh, when you push this down, ratchet is gonna keep the bike from coming loose so if you go all the way down this is a very narrow opening here so even a very small bike and low bike is gonna be fine with this mount and then when you open this it's not gonna spring automatically all the way up you just open the lock and you press down so it's a very nice and easy easy to use system way easier to, than the one that I had on my previous van so uh, I, I really do like this and you can see all the detail here it has this very thick very sturdy rubber mounts here these feet are gonna keep the foot pegs of your bike in place and it's not gonna slip out because this lip here is so deep as you can see here so it's a very simple and uh, elegant solution and you can see the sliders here from bottom very nice very simple and this is the locking mechanism if you screw this this screw will come out you can see it here maybe this version of the mount is rated to I if I remember correctly it was like 140 maybe 140 plus kilograms of bike so the Honda CRF 300 L is fitting just about to that kilogram limit let's just put these back in actually this one first align the slider and I already know that there's a scale here from one to five if I put it this put this all the way to the number one all the way to the end it's pretty much perfect for the Honda CRF so now it's not going anywhere it's a little finicky because the rubber mat is uh, restricting a little bit but it's in so that's it just a few seconds and I have the system back but, uh, yeah that's not going anywhere it's very sturdy I, I do trust this system at this time and I wanted to make this video after I've used this for extensively so now that I've used it quite a lot I can say that it really does work so let's now put the bike in the van and mount it to this system so you can see how it works so what I use to load the bike into the van is this ramp this is a foldable aluminium ramp just line it up so it's pretty much straight and just walk it in in here you can just press the front brake so you can just keep the bike here let's go up here on the step just ease it in And try to align the bike as close to at the center as possible right from the get-go it's much easier to mount that way so there 
Now you just need to put these flaps down so the ratchet actually works. And then you can just push this right up against the mounting system. Press the front brake. You can just put this down a little bit, like so. And then the bike is basically already in. What I usually do now is I get onto the bike and I just press these in all the way, like so. So now the bike is actually there. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty tight up here. But the bike is mounted and it does wobble a little bit, but that's normal. It, it does have some movement, but that's not going anywhere when you ride the bike. So now what I usually do is let me get, get one of the cameras. I just take this front brake and I wrap it around like so. And just attach it somewhere in the plastics or anything, any place that is sturdy. So now the front brake is closed. And if you haul this very long distances, you could wrap a uh, liner here from the rear tire to the back of the van very gently don't over squeeze it because it's gonna pull the pull the mounting system but just so that it's finger tight so if you have a emergency braking situation you are uh, gonna get some of that power against the strap and not all of it against the mounting system but uh, of course you're gonna ride a little bit more gingerly with the bike in the van so that's how it's done it's very easy, it doesn't take a long time. Now the bike is there and it's secure. It's not going anywhere. I don't know, I've been hauling this CRF with this system for like 4,000 kilometers probably. And uh, I've had no problems with the system whatsoever. It's always this simple to put in to the van and it's even more easy to take out of the van. Without further rambling, let's take it out on a ride. So let's take a quick ride and talk about maybe next videos that I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be building a rally tower for the CRF 300L. So you definitely wanna subscribe to see that. And I'm, I'm gonna be taking the rally rate front end to a suspension specialist here in Finland. Then I'm gonna be going to a motorcycle expo in Helsinki, Finland and uh, I'm gonna be posting at least those two first videos but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything from the expo probably at least pictures to the community page I'm gonna go to the highway so I can drive hundred kilometers an hour so that's 60 miles an hour so you can see how much the bike is moving around in the back it shouldn't do much to be honest but now I, a bit of a hard braking don't hear any sounds so that's a good sign 70 80 and now we're doing a hundred the bike looks very stable and uh, there's no excess sound or anything from the mount if you hear some squeaking in the video it's not the mount itself it's something else in the back yeah, the mounting system and the bike itself is not squeaking, making any noises. It has actually never done that. So here are some bloopers from making this video and uh, see you on the next ones. The rally raid video or maybe the rally tower build. I'm not sure which one is going to come first, but see you on those. Bye. I've taken this Honda CRF. I've taken this beautiful Honda CRF. I've taken... five months last year. So this is my solution. So this maybe, and it's gonna keep the, uh, the lights are going off. <laughs> Honda CRF. Oh, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> and the lights once again.